Good morning, class. Our topic today is Occupational Safety and Health, OSH, Hazards and Fisheries. Quarter 2, Lesson 1.1. Week 1, Content Standards. The learners demonstrate an understanding of the concepts and skills in fisheries. Performance Standards. The learners perform the skills in fisheries following safety precautions. Learning Competency. Discuss Occupational Safety and Health, OSH, Hazards and Fisheries. Discuss advantages and disadvantages of organic aquaculture. Identify different aquaculture methods and selected practices. Determine the area and depth requirement of aquaculture facilities. Fact of bluff. Directions. Determine whether the statement is fact, true, or bluff, false. Aquatic pollution, as defined in the Republic Act No. 10654, Section 107, shall be unlawful. Republic Act No. 10654 is an amendment to the Philippine Agriculture Code of 1998. One of the Technical Committee of Rule 107.2 shall be composed of representative from the Environmental Management Bureau of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, DNR. Fish capture technology encompasses the process of catching any land animal. Bodies of water. Bodies of water refer to any area covered by water. What's really cool is that many of the bodies of water all around the world are connected in some way. Unlocking content vocabulary. Biological health. Biological hazards, also known as biohazards, are organic substances that pose a threat to the health of living organisms, primarily humans. Brackish water culture. It is rich in oxygen and plankton. Brackish water organisms can be cultured in various ways such as in tidal ponds, pens, cages, or by rack, raft, or rope culture. Chemical hazards mean any organic or inorganic substance of a particular identity, any element or uncombined chemical and any combination of such substances, or any mixture or two or more chemical substances. Ergonomic health. It is the science of fitting jobs to workers instead of trying to get the worker to fit the job. It focuses on designing workstations, tools and work tasks for safety, efficiency, and comfort. Man-made hazard. Anthropological hazards are those hazards caused directly or indirectly by human action or inaction. They can be contrasted with natural hazards. Mariculture. For the culture of fish, prawns, and lobster floating cages are used. Natural hazard. It is a natural phenomenon that might have a negative effect on people or the environment. Physical health. Refer to the potential risks that can cause physical harm or injury to workers due to physical agents, factors, or conditions present in the workplace. Psychosocial hazard. Refer to the stressors and factors in the workplace or environment that can cause emotional distress or mental health issues in individuals. Occupational safety and health, OSH, hazards and fisheries. Whether working on board a fishing vessel or in port, Fishers are often exposed to occupational hazards. Fishing requires working for long hours at sea, often at night and in rough weather. The work involves transporting and operating heavy equipment and gears and handling of sometimes dangerous catches. The work in commercial fisheries can therefore have severe health consequences, cause accidents, injuries, and fatalities. Health and safety in fisheries are a complex issue with multiple aspects. Fishing is performed under unpredictable and rapidly changing weather and sea conditions, yet many fishing vessel crew are lacking any form of protection. Many fishing crews, particularly in small-scale fisheries, have only informal and self-employed work arrangements, lack proper employment contracts, and have limited or no access to social security, including pensions, disability, and health insurance. A large majority of fishing crews worldwide have not received basic safety training nor have access to safety gear and protective clothing while working on board, which contributes to their exposure to occupational hazards. In addition, cultural norms and views around masculinity tend to influence the perception of risks and behavior of fishers. Common occupational health issues in commercial fisheries. Injuries from sharp objects on deck, gears, or fish handling. Hearing disorders, from working in noisy engine rooms. Cancers and allergies, such as skin cancers, from lengthy and unprotected exposure to ultraviolet, UV, rays from the sun. 
eye disorders such as sunburned eyes and blurred vision from overexposure to UV rays from the sun. Musculoskeletal disorders from falls on slippery wet surfaces, getting caught in winches or other machinery, or from lifting heavy loads. Suicides from lengthy periods of stress and fatigue. Drug and alcohol addictions. Do not get caught in winches or machinery. Wear gloves when handling catch. Limit alcohol consumption on board. Be careful with deck openings and hatches. Wear protective clothing. Check ladders before use. Worked example. A hazard is a situation that poses a level of threat to life, health property, and environment. Hazards can be dormant or potential, with only a theoretical risk of harm. However, once a hazard becomes active, it can create an emergency. A hazard that has come to pass is called incident. Hazard and possibility interact together to create risk. Types of hazards. Natural hazard. It is a natural phenomenon that might have a negative effect on people or the environment. Natural hazard events can be grouped into four broad categories. Geophysical hazards. These hazards are driven by geological, i.e. earth, processes, in particular, plate tectonics. This includes earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Meteorological hazards. These hazards driven by meteorological, i.e. weather, processes, in particular those related to temperature and wind. This includes heat wave, cold waves, cyclones, hurricanes, and freezing rain. Hydrological hazards, hazards driven by hydrological, i.e. water, processes. This includes floods, droughts, mudslides, and tsunamis. Biological hazards can refer to a diverse array of disease and infestation. Man-made hazard. Anthropological hazards are those hazards caused directly or indirectly by human action or inaction. They can be contrasted with natural hazards. These are the result of carelessness or human errors during technological and industrial use. Disasters are in the form of accidents, which occur all of a sudden and take a huge toll on life and property. Mostly such disasters cause injuries, disease, and casualties where they occur. Anthropogenic hazards may adversely affect human, other organisms and biomes and ecosystems. Types of natural and man-made hazard in fisheries. Cyclone. Cyclone is a large scale of air mass that rotates around a strong center of low atmospheric pressure. In the Northern Hemisphere, cyclones are called hurricanes or typhoons, and their winds blow in an anti-clockwise circle. In the Southern Hemisphere, these tropical storms are known as cyclones, whose winds blow in a clockwise circle. In common terms, Cyclone can be described as a giant circular storm system whose wind speed must be more than 119 kilometers per hour. Floods. Floods refer to the inundation of large parts of land which otherwise remain dry by water for some duration of time. Two types. Natural floods and catastrophic floods. The floods in the mountainous regions due to cloudbursts or damming of streams are referred to as flash floods. In flash floods, the water drains away quickly, but only after causing extensive damage. Floods are also caused by heavy snow melting. Drought. It is a condition of abnormally dry weather within a geographic region. It is the lack or insufficiency of rain for an extended period of time in a specific region. During droughts, rainfall is less than normal, causing a water imbalance and resultant water shortage. It occurs when the rate of evaporation and transpiration exceeds precipitation for a considerable period. Droughts usually occur in hot, dry areas of land. In most cases, the area is dry because there is very minimal rainfall. The rain that does fall will be quickly absorbed into the ground or blown away by the dry air flow that moves along the ground. Therefore, the land is very dry and not many things can live there. Tsunami El Nino. It is defined by prolonged differences in Pacific Ocean surface temperature when compared with the average value. 
The accepted definition is a warming or cooling of at least 0.5 degrees Celsius average over the East Central Tropical Pacific Ocean. It affects the global climate and disrupts normal weather patterns, which as a result can lead to intense storms in some places and droughts in others. It also affects the Indian climate by altering rainfall, floods, marine habitat, and storm patterns.